Okay, let's get real. <clears throat> I am wearing fake eyelashes, um, makeup, lip goo, um, <clears throat> hair did. For those of you that know me, this really isn't my usual look. I prefer to go more natural. But today I did something special and fun and a great opportunity. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. My salt lamp died. Must have unplugged it. Yep, that's what happened. Hold on. Because the salt lamp has just got to be on. Let's see. Let's try that again. See? It adds ambiance. So this morning I had an opportunity to go to downtown Kokomo and with Mackenzie Lee Photography. And she did a photo session for me and another one of my friends, Ali Five Coat. Shout out to you. Um, she is Kokomo doula, so if you are in need for a doula, please go visit her, get a hold of her. I can put you in contact with her. She's amazing. So we both had this opportunity um, to get our hair done and our makeup done and um, get some really amazing portraits taken of us. So just wanted to shout out to her and um, to Joey, the hairstylist and the makeup artist. Um, she's at Strands Salon, I believe, here in Kokomo, Indiana. And um, so yeah, it was just a really awesome opportunity. And I was like, I'm not going to do a video today because I've done one every day this week. And um, then I got my, you know, makeup and hair done. I was like, I should probably try to do one. So here I am. And um, it also is pretty good timing because here I am feeling really uncomfortable with all of this makeup on, feeling like a drag queen a little bit. It's hard for me to open my eyes with these eyelashes on. Um, and just realizing how important it is to be comfortable um, with ourselves and our beauty and our makeup and our hair and whatever it is for you um, that you enjoy doing. It's just good for us to feel good about ourselves. So that's kind of the message I wanted to send today and, you know, kind of um, talk about the importance of how um, we should feel good in our bodies and not what other people's expectations of what we should feel like or look like um, influence us, which is easier said than done, absolutely. Um, and another thing I want to say is I have to give props and kudos to models who stay in all of these uncomfortable positions and, you know, it's like, I was sore and I'm like, oh, I'm shaking. Can I, you know, get out of this pose yet? And, um, my mom actually used to model and I was like, she didn't really teach me any of this and I never really gave it a, a lot of thought as to, um, how much, like, holding you have to do and positioning and like she kept telling me which Mackenzie is great I highly recommend her I am very awkward I think and um she just totally made me feel at ease totally made me feel like I was doing the most beautiful pose in the world when I'm sitting here like she's like chin out and down and I'm like that's it's so unnatural it's so awkward like that can't possibly look good. So I'm so excited for the reveal to see how um, the photo sh photos came out. Um, Cause she's just like, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm like, really? Cause this feels really weird. <laughs> um, but she made it such an easy process. And, um, but that's what I wanted to say. Kudos to models out there because that stuff is not easy and I only did like half an hour of it So I can't even imagine the whole time I'm thinking of like America's Next Top Model and Tyra Banks and Smizing and all this stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, I you know totally get um, For you know how like thinking back to the shows um, How they would complain. Oh, it's cold or hot or you have to be in some really uncomfortable Positions and conditions and you have to look beautiful while you're doing it and so I just major major props out there. It's not for me. 
but I so enjoyed doing it. I think it was a great opportunity and Mackenzie's message is so, um, uh, it's so heartfelt because she wants to take the best portrait of you um, and so capture your beauty and your strength um, to be able to have for yourself but also to, to be remembered by, to have for your children and your, um, you know, whoever comes after you to remember you by. And so um, it was very meaningful in a sense as well because um, we've kind of gotten away um, from the idea of taking portraits and having, you know, getting, you know, um, all dressed up and going to get, you know, pictures done. We've kind of, as a society in general, got away from that. So she's trying to kind of bring that back and re tie in the importance of why um, that is because um, if you lose your loved ones and you don't have anything to remember them by or really well portraits that captured them you know um, their whole being then um, it can be a time for regret and that's what it was with Mackenzie and her story so Anyway, it was just super powerful and it made me feel very thankful to be in the position I am, um, to feel good about my body, to be confident, and to feel <laughs> beautiful no matter what, even though I don't feel like me right now with all of the makeup and hair done, but it's also just kind of fun to dress up and um, act a little different and do something. Um, out of the norm and I can't wait to see how these pictures turn out and sh they just did an amazing job so I highly highly recommend them you know if you are at a point in your life where maybe you're not feeling beautiful or you're not feeling sexy um, a lot of times we can have all of these good excuses right of why we don't have time to get beautiful or um, you know, we may put on mascara and we're just lucky to get our clothes on and get out the door and keep the children alive or whatever it is, right? Um, so we can make a lot of excuses to not um, take care of ourselves or to not um, emphasize how important it is to take some time for ourselves and self-care and self-love time. Um, and in my programs, that's what I'm focusing all on with a lot of clients because I find that a lot of people end up being the caretakers and they um, are the ones taking care of everyone else, um, but yet not taking care of themselves properly or maybe pushing to the side some of their needs or their desires or their wants, you know, um, or feeling like it's not important for me to feel sexy. I'm a mom, you know, I can't be sexy or um, whatever it is for you. Um, it's just really hard to overcome that mindset sometimes and realize that we are deserving um, and we are worthy of taking some time um, to make ourselves feel really good and feel sexy and confident and um, just for ourselves, you know, not for anyone else, but for ourselves. And I want to empower women to feel beautiful no matter what. And um, that's to me and I feel like it can make a big difference in our day-to-day -day life and feeling comfortable and not feeling like we have to hide ourselves from the world or that we don't deserve to take some time and focus on ourselves and our needs. So basically what I want you to take away from this is to just do one thing, one, <laughs> one thing for yourself today that you normally wouldn't do and maybe it is um, wearing something different um, instead of maybe just a t-shirt or you know just dressing up a little bit maybe it's that 
whatever's, you know, comfortable for you. Because if you're normally dressed up and you're like, hey, I want to wear pajamas today, do that. Um, but do something out of the norm to make yourself feel more beautiful or more comfortable. And um, maybe it's going to the gym. Maybe it's going to yoga. Maybe it's drinking some really good juice or doing a face mask or going to the spa, getting a massage, whatever it is that makes you feel good and feel beautiful and oh man we'll be in such a better state of mind and even more importantly if we do have children teaching them to love themselves and their body and to respect it as well um, that in turn teaches other people that my body is to be respected and um, so it goes even deeper than that. If we love ourselves and if we respect ourselves, then we teach people that we are to be respected as well. So it's a beautiful thing. You're beautiful. Stay beautiful. Do something today to take care of yourself and to feel beautiful and alive. And um, I will talk to you very soon.